Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be watching Bungo Stray Dog Season 3 Episode 6. Last episode is probably one of my favorite episodes in the whole entire series and probably my current favorite of <laughs> Bungo Stray Dog Season 3 because Akutagawa, he has a sister and it's Gain. The, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, both have black hair and if I imagine a Kutagawa with long hair and with no black white strips, I would think of Jin, maybe of Jin maybe. But yeah, it's still quite surprising. I never expected it. Like I said, I've always thought of him as an orphan, but now it's nice to actually know that he is not. And so yeah, um, I'm really looking forward towards what's gonna happen with this. Uh, are we gonna focus on the Port Mafia side or the guild side or the detective agency side? Who knows? Uh, there's a lot. To learn probably so i'm really looking forward to this let's just start the reaction now hmm we're back to this place wanted least i mean kyoka is quite reliable at this type of things oh lucy hi yeah, she's a worker at this place now. <laughs> I mean, we don't know if she's an ex-guild member. We see her with Francis in the opening. Hmm. Is it because he didn't retrieve her? Kyoka doesn't know how to read the room. Or is she doing this on purpose to make them, to make Lucy leave them alone? I didn't read the title. Sorry about that. I don't know if I would like Kyoka's way of handling things. Like, as soon as something's going on, she tries to kill. I know it's going to be... I think it's going to be a long time before Kyoka manages to temper down that instinct, right? But I sure hope it happens soon. Oh. No, she says she was not on your mind. <sighs> yeah, there's no time, so she, he didn't really think of you. Or was this included in the scene in the manga and they just cut it out in the anime? Please do tell me if that's the case. But it was petty of Lucy to actually do this. Um, what about Kyoka? You better remember that Kyoka's out there and she might be searching for you. He's gonna get sick, won't he? Huh? Hmm. That's too complicated for me. Okay, now what? Will it work? Oh, your clothes! Oh no, they're naked. I'm sorry. Oh no, in the clothes. Kyoka will see it. <gasps> oh my. Who's this? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was... I was... Was attacked. Kyoka, so you're not the one who killed your parents. Kill me? What? Protect my daughter. Mm, 
so it was not Kyoka's fault. He did not. She did not kill her parents. So does that mean Demon Snow is now? Kyoka's? What's happening here? Is it an inheritable ability? But oh my gosh, how old? But that kind of ability is just terrifying. Yeah, how did you manage to get it? There's a way. So does that mean Akutagawa can do it? Transfer or his ability to gain if necessary? The transfer was imperfect so she wasn't able to control her much. What is that? Did something happen? Told me? Oh, so she was preparing for it. She knew. What do you mean? Yeah, this is a very, very important moment. You need to leave her alone and let her, let her think. Uh, what's that? Okay. DNA. Hmm? What? 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 You know him? Why are you here? Why? Oh my... Rampo! Did you do this on purpose? <laughs> The one who made your life a living hell. Um, I don't know what to feel about this. Yeah, I'm. I'm. That's my first thought. Why was he here? Abandoned. Yeah, we don't even know this guy's parents. <gasps> oh. Cross. On the wall. Yep, he definitely is. Headmaster, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's regaining his memories. There must be a lot of misunderstandings in the past. Oh, that's how the flyers. Oh no, if this guy is as his father or uncle, I'm going to cry. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know now. Uh, yep. Mm, why are you saying this? Does I do you have the same background? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry about the noise. Hmm. 
this feeling that's overflowing inside of me. Mm. Yeah, I believe that as well. They can only help you realize some things. Hmm. Wait, um, <laughs> oh gosh. That's your father. The moment they introduce us, the fact that an ability can be transferred over through various means through Kroka's case, I just suddenly realized that maybe the word tiger is also something that can be transferred. Maybe Daza's ability can also be something that be, that can be transferred. Maybe not just Kyoka, maybe other characters here were also transferred, right? Their abilities might also have been transferred by their parents. Now, I it's implied here that the headmaster is probably Atsushi's father, right? And the fact that he says, hate me once you're able to get out of this. Like, does that mean that his father transferred Possibly transfer his ability, the word tiger, to himself. Right? Maybe. And he tried his best to not let it, not let him know about it for some kind of reason. Maybe he's trying to hide the word tiger's ability from someone. And I don't know. There is quite a lot. And the fact that Dazai. I don't know, maybe Dazai also has the same case, maybe he suffered the same case. The fact that he can be so understanding and have so many answers towards Asushi's situation makes me think that he might have. He probably suffered the same fate, maybe his father was also killed and blah blah blah. I don't know what to feel about this. Asushi, he suffered a lot. But then, he cried after listening to Dazai's possible implication that it might, the, the person that he resented the most, the person who was trying his best to look after him, and he managed to go up to Yokohama to search for him through that newspaper, and now he's dead because, technically because of Atsushi, right? It's an accident, but the accident wouldn't have happened had he not seen that flyer and he would still be alive in that in whatever place he's in right now. But did it really take him how many months or years have passed since Atsushi's Hmm How she says since Atsushi's run away from that orphanage? Like did it really take him that long to find his son if that's the case? Like what's going on here? I feel like there must be quite a lot uh, that's been hidden for now. And maybe there's a reason as to why his father has done this. Like, I don't know. Uh, I think I might have to rewatch this. I feel like I've missed a lot of things because I was just astounded with the things here. But Kyoka did not kill his kill her parents. He, She was... I wonder... I, I mean, now that we know that she did not kill her parents, it's not her fault and there's an ability user out there who's able to use blood to manipulate someone into or rather into controlling them to do harm to others or kill themselves then does that mean if it's still alive if the the ability user is still alive that means kyoka would have to encounter them and fight them right i'm really curious now and i wonder if they'll be able to if they're gonna let us know if an ability is someone that's been transferred or not, because Kyoka's definitely transferred, but 
I wonder if we have more. Maybe Asher is one of them. I have a feeling he might be one. Since his father keeps on saying, don't, don't hate yourself, hate me. Once you're, you get out, does that mean that he knows that he understands that Atsushi might have a lot of trouble because of what he's done, of him transferring his ability towards his son, or what? I'm confused, but I'm also excited for the next episode. I hope we get to know more, and yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know, I feel like we've just... We, I don't know. I feel like we've just got it in a huge bombshell and I don't know how to react to it. Honestly, during the ending, I actually cried, but I managed to actually compose myself before <laughs> doing this review. I don't know. I don't know why I cried knowing that Atsushi was always, who's, who's always thought to an orphan and now there's a possibility of this scientist or rather of this headmaster possibly being his father, the one who tortured him. The one who made his life a living hell. And now you're telling him. And he also cried. I think that's the reason why I cried the most. Especially after seeing the scene of the headmaster actually smiling while looking at Atsushi's poster. Like what the heck is going on here? <laughs> but yeah, um, I really enjoyed this episode. I cried, but I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.